It's that time again, Trash Panda Treasures. My name is Carrie, and I am your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And if you're watching this video, that means you picked Yowlers for the secondary option in your box this month. You should have four pipe cleaners. We're gonna take one of those and cut it in half. So now you have three long pipe cleaners and two short pipe cleaners. We're gonna start with one of the long ones and make a little bit of a coil. We're gonna kind of just make a circular coil shape, not a very big one. And then I want you to see that edge of part of that coil as kind of, this is where your nose is gonna be for your cat. Then we're going to wrap the pipe cleaner in the other direction to make a nice round cat head. So you're holding the nose and then you're gonna wrap kind of going the other direction. So instead of flat, we have three dimensions. And now I'm gonna make a little tiny cat ear, a little triangle shape. I'm gonna go a little bit further around and make another ear, bend that in a little triangle shape. And that's gonna leave me with a little bit of a tail of my pipe cleaner left. And I wanna bend that um, and poke it through the last loop that I made for the head. So that will kind of keep all of that head shape in place. And then this is gonna go back sort of like the cat's spine. So straight back from the face. I'm gonna bend that nose a little bit. I made it a little too long. Nice thing about pipe cleaners, they are very forgiving. Okay, so now I am gonna take one of the smaller pieces. I'm gonna bend it in half, and these are gonna be the front legs for my cat. So I'm going to put them over that spine area. I'm gonna twist them so that they stay in place, twist them twice. And then I'm going to fold each leg in half because I only want them to be half as long, but I want them to be a little bit thicker. So when you fold it in half, then I'm gonna twist it a bunch to make a leg and bend it out at the bottom to make a little tiny paw. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. So bend the leg in half, twist it to make sure that it's a little bit thicker shape. And then at the end, make a little tiny cat paw so now I have front legs. Okay. Now I am going to take the other short pipe cleaner and we're gonna basically do the same thing and make ourselves a pair of back legs. So we're gonna fold it in half. Um, we're going to put it over that kind of spine pipe cleaner where the back legs would be I'm gonna twist it twice to make sure it's secured in place. And then I'm going to fold each leg in half, twist it a bunch to make kind of a thick, thicker leg, and then bend it to make a little tiny paw. And do the same thing for this last leg. Bend the pipe cleaner in half, twist it around. Little tiny paw, okay. So now we have the basic shape of our cat. I'm gonna take one of the long ones, bend an L shape, and put the short part of that L shape right along the cat spine. And I'm gonna wrap around and around and around to make the body. I'm also gonna do kind of a figure eight around the legs um, because that way your cat really is gonna be all one piece and then I'm gonna keep wrapping around the body. Kind of loose, doesn't have to be super tight. And then with the extra, I'm gonna make a tail. Fold that in half, because I also want it to be kind of thick. Twist it just like we did the legs, but instead of putting a little cat paw on the end, I'm gonna make kind of, you know, cat shape, cat tail shape, kind of an S, slinky curve. I'm gonna do the same start with this last pipe cleaner, bend an L shape, lay it along the spine, 
and this time I'm going to start wrapping from the back towards the front, do a little figure eight around the legs, and then I'm going to wrap the rest of it to be that body shape. And then you can kind of even it out, move your legs the way you want them, make sure all the paws are facing the right way, and that you can use a marker to put some eyes on. Looks a little strange from that angle, <laughs> but I'll show you from the front. You can have a whole uh, little group of cats that are soft and poseable. <laughs>